Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Skyrim. Let's get started, shall we? <sighs> Back in Skyrim. Hi. As the hot the lady in Skyrim. So I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. <sighs> It'd be awesome to be in the SAO virtual reality game like that. There's been talk amongst the gods. Yeah, I guess I am, but I ain't got no time for you. Yeah, so... You there. We're looking for someone, a woman. She's likely not... Okay. Nice talk. Sorry. I ain't got time now. I gotta go visit the Greybeards. Among the companion's most treasured artifacts are the fragments of Uthrod. The axe of Ysgrimor himself wielded when leading the 500. My question for anybody who's used to axe is how did they enchant it with uh, attack bonus when attacking elves with that weapon? Ah, uh, yeah. We'll do that later. Maybe. Maybe not. Now it's time we take a shortcut. Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Riften. Climb and back and we'll be off. Yeah. Shortcut. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. Do you mug the dad and you'll forget all? Ah, well, I'll think about it after I've helped Skyrim and I take out Fred, the Dragon God. Little is known about the mysterious Spurgans. I guess so. Hmm, why does the Spurgan look like a wooden female? Hmm. I don't know. Ah, there was a shortcut. Crap. Eh. Fuck it. We'll run all the way over there. Yeah, I wish I had the Elder Scrolls online. Become the strongest player. That would just be awesome. Ah, but I'm ahead of myself. We're in Skyrim right now. Hunters, huh? Okay. I had to recommend a zombie killing game. Uh, try the State of Decay. It's decent for a zombie game. Who knows? You may like it if you play it. Fred was here. Mm. Dragon Birdies. He doesn't work out much. What? Okay then, we'll just keep on going. Ah, that must be one of the Dawn Guards quests. We'll come back there another time. Uh, Redwater Dune. I was correct. Wow. Hmm. 
Well, surely we must almost be there. Speaking of zombies, what would you do in a zombie apocalypse? How would you react? How would you survive? That's a tough question to ask since nothing like that has happened yet, you know? My advice is, based on the fact there are about um, 300 million plus people in the United States, I'm going to say, yeah, you're going to need numbers for that, unless they all travel single file. Like, you just meet them one at a time. Shouldn't be any trouble, but... Traveling in a party of two, four... That's gonna be a long time before all the zombies in the United States are destroyed. Should they ever... Should there ever be zombies in the United States of America? But if you're traveling in a group searching a building, my advice is to at least have a minimum of four people. Want to cover the north side, south side, east side, and west side. That'd be the easiest way to survive. Ah, Iverstead! Ah, we are almost there. Ah. Personally, if it was me, I would try to get a community going together. Because humanity's gonna have to try to survive. And the more people, the better. But, that's also a catch 22 in case one of them gets bit. And it's in an enclosed area. And there are no weapons. That'd be kind of tough. On your way up the 7,000 steps again. Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar, where the Greybeards live? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thuum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. What? Well, not that they would. Nah. They seem peaceful. But I wouldn't want to provoke them. Well, yeah, if they can kill you with a word, I wouldn't want to either. What type of deliveries do you make to High Rothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return, what do you get? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Oh, aren't you? The trouble is, my a legs good are what they used system. to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Oh, so you're getting old, you're getting in your years, huh? Oh, I guess I could do it for you since you're getting old. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, okay. you see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, oh, and you're huh? done. Anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Oh, Other yes. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Hmm, I agree with that. Alright, see ya. Be careful up there. Okay. Well, 
as I know there's gonna be a frost troll up there, so yeah, nothing I can't handle. Hmm, too bad I ain't traveling in a party. That would make it a little bit easier. Now, hmm. MMO games should have a leveling system of level 1 to level up you would need 1 EXP and each monster depending on their level would have like level 17 would have 17 EXP if you kill that monster or that animal or whatever it is so that basically be the easiest thing and each level you go up you need that much exp to level up the health system and mana system should be around the same thing as the exp system you start out at a default uh either 10 or 100 hp monsters can do the damage depending on their level Let's say level 1 is just like um, a monster with no weapon. Then it would be, hey, how you doing? Then it would be like a level 1 monster, no weapon. Be about 1 damage each time they attack. And the virtual reality headgear, the Oculus, ain't where it needs to be. It it's far from where we come but there's still a lot that needs to be done in order for us to be Im immersed in the virtual reality world you know all right so that does it for this episode of skyrim i hope you've enjoyed it press that like button if you liked it i do hope you've enjoyed watching this and i will see you in that next video see ya